what up everybody this is july from kickback couture and today i'm going to show you how to do some things in regroove and how to get some swing into your beats so i have this this framework for a beat i'm gonna play it for you So what I want to do, the point of this video, is to show you how to get the groove from your samples, like the swing. Sorry about those drum hits. As you can hear, there's some swing to it. It's not all on the beat. So I want to mimic that swing with the rest of my sounds in the beat. So in order to do that, right click actually click on it first and then right click it bounce click to rex loop and now i have this rex loop with the exact same thing as my sample so i'm going to take this rex clip and copy the loop to the track and then i'll get this so following that i'm going to right click and get groove from clip then I'm going to meet this and here is regroup. So what I, the group that I just got is going to be here on the first one. Otherwise it would be blank. If it's blank, then that means there is no groove in place. So in order to get this on my drums, for example, I did my drums in redrum. So all I have to do is hit the shuffle button. So let's listen to this and the sample. And this is without the shuffle. Not as apparent, but a better way to do it is with the hi-hat. So the hi-hat is going to be more apparent. can hear that so I'm gonna apply that to all of my drums and you don't have to Now, one important thing to do to know is that you can also do this within this drop down list over here. So, if I wanted to apply the same group to my flute, then I just go to this drop down list and select the same pattern. And I don't have to put the samples on it because that's where I got the groove from. Another thing that you should know is the tool window features groove settings. In which there are presets. So if you want access to those, you can find it over here in your browser. You can start from the tool window and you'll see all the presets that are available for you. MPC 60, these are dope. I use those a lot. Got different shakers, tambourines, and of course, like I just did, you can get a groove from whatever clip you want to get by following the exact same steps I did. So, within these groove settings, you could change the groove channel, 
you have this option where I said before you could change the patches. You could change the timing impact. So let's start with this kick and let me show you what that does. Actually, I think a better example would be the hi-hats. I don't know why I keep going to the kick. So this is what the hi-hat sounds like with the timing impact at 100%. This is going up to 200. And then you could alter the velocity so it'll match the velocity of the sample. Which isn't too bad. Note length impact. It's a little different because it's a drum. So let's try this flute. You see how that changed that? Gives a little extra bounce. Then you could slide it by these ticks, random timing. So as you can see, you can alter all that. It definitely depends on what type of track you're trying to alter. And uh, the track you're trying to alter is very dependent on the results that you're gonna get. So you've seen how to change them in this area and you've seen how to change them on the red drum. So with that being said, you can alter the amount that your tracks are sticking to the groove here. So right now it's at 100%. Here's zero. You could do as many different patterns as you want. Actually, you have a limit of 32, and not patterns, I should say grooves. It's not like the Rex in that you can draw the pattern in and change it. If you want to change the pattern, then you'll have to create two instances of the pattern you want to change. Like this, actually. Um, let's do an alt or a dub, and then you could change it. So if I wanted to take the second half, I just drag it up and then change this. So that's all I have for you today. If you like this video, give it a like, comment, subscribe, and let me know what you would like to see next.